Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is something went wrong. Your computer's trusted platform module has malfunctioned and the error code is 8009030. So if you are receiving this error message while launching Microsoft Teams or any Office application, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to launch Microsoft Teams or Office application. Still you're facing the problem, then move on to the next step. Now the first step is to open Windows 10 settings. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Click on accounts. Go to access work or school. Now over here you can see your work or school accounts. So click on disconnect first. Now this will remove your access to resources like email, apps, network and all the content associated with it. Your organization might also remove some data stored on this device. So if you are OK with it, click on Yes. It may take a couple of seconds. Now once this is done, you have to go ahead and open your Microsoft Office application or Microsoft Teams to sign out. So open Microsoft Teams and then click on the profile icon, then click on sign out. Now if you are using any Word, any office application, you can try to open any office application if you are receiving the error while launching the office application. Click on file, then click on accounts, account and then click on sign out. And after you sign out, you have to go ahead and sign in once again. So you have to go ahead and sign in once again. So make sure that you have the email and password. So click on sign in. Enter the password. You have to do the same thing with office office application if you are receiving the error on office. Click on OK. Click on Done and it will load Microsoft Teams and that should go ahead and fix the error message. Now Still you are receiving the error message, in that case run the SFC and DISM command. So just type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command. The command is provided in the video description. Paste it on the command prompt window and then hit the enter key on the keyboard. And once the scan, this scan is 100% complete. Once this is complete, you have to go ahead and run this second command and then paste it over here and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then try to launch your office application or Microsoft Teams. Now still you are receiving the error message, then go to this location. Open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, then open the users folder and then open your username folder. And then you have to open the app data folder. So over here you will see app data. So if you don't see app data over here, click on view and make sure hidden items is checked. Once this is checked, you will be able to see the app data over here. Open app data and then open the local folder. Then open the packages folder. Open this folder and then you have to search for Microsoft dot ead dot broker plugin underscore these characters so find it in the list so here you can see microsoft ead broker uh, broker plugin underscore cw5 and one h t yeah it's same so you have to go ahead and delete this folder so make a right click and then click on delete so click on yes, 
Now, before you delete this, just create a backup. Just make a right click, then copy this, and you can paste it on the desktop. And once you have a backup over here, you can make a right click and then click on delete. Click on yes. Click on continue. Now you might receive this error. You need permission to perform this action. Now, if you receive this error message, and you will receive this error message. So in that case, I have made a separate video how to delete this folder. So please visit this YouTube link. So once you visit this link, you will be able to delete this folder by going to some other user account. So please visit this link, and you will be able to delete this folder. Now once you delete this folder. Restart your computer, and after that, you should be able to get rid of this error message. It, um, many users were able to um, get rid of this error message uh, after following this method, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to use the registry editor. So go ahead and type in registry editor in Windows search box, and then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. Now you have to go ahead and go to this location. So before you make any changes in the registry, create a backup. So click on File, then click on Export. Select the location, and you can name it as Backup, or you can just name it Registry Backup, whatever you want. And then select for Export Range, select All, then click on Save, and this will go ahead and backup your registry. And then you can make changes. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to back up the registry. Now, after the backup, whenever you want to restore registry, suppose something happens, then you can always restore your registry. So go to File, then click on Import. Go to the location, select your backup, and then click on Open. And that will restore the registry. Now we can make changes. So expand H key current user, expand it, then expand software folder, then expand Microsoft folder, scroll down, and here you can see Microsoft expand it, then expand Office folder, expand it, then expand the 16 folder, then expand the common folder. And then you have to go ahead and select identity. So here you can see identity selected. Do not expand it, just select it. And on the right hand side, make a right click on the empty space and then click on new. Then click on DWORD 32 bit value. And you have to name this as this. This name is provided in the video description. So just make a right click and then click on rename. Name it as Enable A D A L. So just name it exactly, and then make a double click on this name, and then set the value as zero, and then click on OK. And after this, close this registry editor, and then restart your computer. So go to the Start menu, click on the power icon, then click on Restart. And after the restart, you can try to launch Microsoft Teams or Office application. That should go ahead and fix the error message. Now the next step is to open Credential Manager. So to go ahead and type in Credential Manager in Windows search box, and then click on Credential Manager. Now go to Windows Credentials, and once you select Windows Credential, you have to go ahead and find these entries. This one, and this one. And this step is for Microsoft Teams. So if you are receiving the error message on Microsoft Teams, then you have to find these two entry under Windows Credential. So I don't have it in my case because I already got rid of it. So I don't have it anymore. But I'll show you now. Before you delete anything in Windows credential, you have to go ahead and create a backup first. So just click on Backup Credentials, and you can go ahead and select the location wherever you want to save it, and you can name it as Backup.
and then click on save click on next now you have to press control alt and delete on the keyboard and then you can just create any password to protect this folder so just keep any password whatever you want just remember this password then click on next and here you can see the backup was successful click on finish now in future if you want to restore the credential you can you can simply click on restore credentials and then select the location and here is the backup then click on open and then click on next again press control alt and delete and then enter the password which we have created before and then click on next and here you can see your login credential have been restored click on finish so this is how you can go ahead and back up and restore the credential for windows credential now after this you have to go ahead and find these entries as i don't have it so i'll show you how it will look so here you can see these entries over here so you have to cl click on this down arrow and then you have to go ahead and remove these entries for example i'm showing this is just an example so click on this down arrow and then click on remove so one by one remove everything if you find any entries like this and you also have you will also see entry like this which says context underscore segments so if you find it then expand it and then remove it and after you remove it then you have to go ahead and sign out from microsoft teams but uh, if you are receiving this error message on office application then you have to go ahead and remove the credential related to uh, related to microsoft office so if so you scroll down if you find any now over here you can see microsoft so you can click on it then remove it click on it remove it and then after this once you remove it then you have to log out of teams in case if you are receiving the error message on teams so open teams on the top right here you can see the profile icon click on sign out and after the sign out again log in to microsoft teams so first of all you have to log out i'm sorry first of all you you have to log out and then you have to exit teams so just log out and after the log out you have to go ahead and close teams so make a right click and then click on quit so after you exit from the team after the log out then launch the team and then you have to log in once again and you have to do the same thing with office so open office application go to file click on account then click on sign out and once you sign out close all the office application and then you can go ahead and launch office then it will be asking you to log in so log in and then you should be able to use the office now still you are facing the problem for team user you have to go ahead and delete all the cache for teams so just copy this location the location is provided in the video description paste it in the window search box click on it and then select everything and then make a right click and then delete it click on yes if you receive this kind of error just skip it because my team is open right now you have to go ahead and close the team and then you have to go ahead and delete everything and then you can go ahead and launch the team so that should go ahead and fix the error message now still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and uninstall microsoft teams or office now in case you are facing the error message with office and if you want to uninstall office if you have a hard copy of office then make sure you have the license key before you uninstall office on your computer to uninstall microsoft teams just uh, open control panel and then click on programs sorry click on uninstall a program and then you can go ahead and find microsoft teams over here click on uninstall if you are receiving the error message for office select office then click on uninstall and after the uninstall you have to clear the browser cache so whatever browser you are using so for example in chrome you can go ahead and click on um, history and then you can go ahead and click on history then click on uh, clear browsing data and then you can go ahead and clear data browsing history will clear all the history cookies and other sites sign out which will sign you out of the most of the site and it will remove the cache click on clear data and after that once you are done you can go ahead and re-download microsoft teams and office 
so if you receiving if you want to re-download teams then copy this link and here you can go ahead and open this link after you clear the cache go ahead and download the team and team once again you can download the desktop team app from here and in case if you want to download office if you have the online version of office if you had hard copy then you have to go ahead and insert the usb or the dvd drive and then you have to use the license key but in case if your uh, your office is registered to the to your account you simply have to copy this link open this link and then log into your microsoft account to which your office is registered and then it will take you to the services page where you will be able to see all your subscription over here and then you should be able to see your office over here so here you can i, I can see my office so you can click on view product key and install and it will install office so this is how you can go ahead and re-download office and that error should go away now if nothing is working you can go ahead and update your system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then update your bios and if, uh, if you are using a laptop make sure when you are updating the bios the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the charger is connected to your computer make sure you disconnect all the external devices such as usb storage device or external hard drive or printer cable so make sure battery is more than 10 percent the external devices are disconnected and make sure the charger the ac adapter is connected to the computer so you have to go to your uh, system manufacturer website so if you have dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo go to lenovo website and during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable and after the restart you can go ahead and log into the computer also make sure that the tpm the trusted module platform option is enabled in your system bios so and then you can go ahead and try to launch microsoft teams or office on your computer so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error message so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel